because doing the dungeon crawling is my favorite part of the game, as I've mentioned multiple times. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be installing the Tougher Dragons mod. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and then I keep forgetting to do it. I heard you. I think there's a I think there's multiple I love I just really really like good ambient sounds. I know I keep mentioning that, but I just really appreciate them. I just like good I mean I even like I don't know if anyone's heard of Midnight Syndicate. Somebody linked me to them. Uh, in another stream I was watching the other day, and I'd heard of them before because they have a uh, Dungeons and Dragons soundtrack, and I know how amazingly dorky that sounds, uh, and it is, but they have basically ambient sounds, like the kind of sounds you would hear in a haunted house, but I mean, I could sit there and seriously just listen to that, like just in the background while I'm working. Um, I actually want to go down. Nope. I <laughs> see, I did it again. I did it again. Got lost in the game. Oh, baby, baby. Ooh. I think I'm in love. Got da 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 da. What the? What damaged me? Don't know. But yeah, obviously this is the bottom of the trap. Ow. Ah, I see. Yep. It's kind of what I thought. Basically, it's damaging me just from touching that. So that if you fell down the trap, you would take damage slash die. Damn it. I'm going to have to get used to that, that button. Yeah, I've seen mob or uh, mods that make like the Dro the Drogar harder uh, or add more of them, things like that. I usually am a little cautious though about adding a lot of mods at once. Just because if something bad happens, like if all of a sudden the performance tanks, like all of a sudden you start getting five frames per second everywhere, or the game starts crashing, or you know, just weird things are happening, and you just added, you know, 20 mods, I saw that, you son of a bitch. Wow. That couldn't have been much worse. Yeah, waste time pointing at me. Good thinking. And there almost certainly at some point will be a version of, and I forget the guy's name who did the overhaul. And it wasn't just him, it was a bunch of people, but uh, the hell? But he did the overhaul mod, it was like Obscuros or something like that uh, mod for Oblivion. I mean that mod was huge, I mean it was several gigs 
that overhauled a ton of things for Oblivion. Added, you know, a bunch of different mobs and made them harder. So I'm sure something like that will come out for this game. Old Eagle Eye. Did I shoot that guy already? Oops. Uh, he's not alive. Or undead. Or whatever. I hear you. Ooh. Not sure how I missed you. You sneaky little bastard. What's that video? King Mike. Oh, <laughs> oh! What the hell? He's got a weird head. Oh. I don't know why I looted the bow, but alright. There's another guy. Oh, there he is. Booyah! Not a bad hit if I do say so myself. He's still alive. Not anymore. Ooh. Right in the blight, bright blues. Oh, <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> he, he, he might have been okay if he wouldn't have went face first into the urn. Or into the brazier, rather. <laughs> God damn. Have you seen the video where the guy plays uh, Mega Man? I think he play. I think it's Mega Man X 1 and 2. He plays them at the same time on the same controller. I've tried to find that video again, but it's it's insane. He plays them both at the same time on the same controller. It's pretty nuts. You should look for it. I want to find that again. It's pretty cool. It's cool, yet it's kind of sad because it's like the games are so similar. I don't know if he plays through the entire game because I don't. I don't think I play, or I don't think I watch the whole thing. Um, but man, terrible.
that arrow didn't even hit. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I watched him through at least the first stage. It was kind of amusing that you could play any game in a sequel and play it with the same controller and actually just be fine. Oh, whoops. What's up? But yeah, you guys, seriously, on the Skyrim thing, I think I've actually lost subs because of the whole Star Wars thing. Because I've noticed, like, I'll get four or five subs and then I'll check to see how many subscribers I have. And it'll be roughly the same as I had before I got the four or five new subs. And I'm like, wait a minute, how does that work? Yeah, I think it's because people... Oh, wow. A few spiders. I think some people are unsubscribing because all they see is they subscribe for the Skyrim, but yet all they see is Old Republic, Old Republic, Old Republic. And seriously, if you were subscribed for Skyrim, I totally appreciate it, and there will be more Skyrim, and there will be a lot more Skyrim, because I plan to put 100 plus hours into this game, and I will probably do just about every single quest in the game. But, I really want to finish my, um, I really want to finish, <laughs> I thought that said defecated corpse. Uh, I really want to finish my Old Republic character. So that is why you're seeing so much Old Republic. So don't freak out. Don't think I've abandoned this game. Anything like that. Do I have a weapon? <laughs> sure I do. Hell yeah, look at those one-hand skills that I don't have at all. And this this uh this place has it all. Just about to say I need to switch arrows. And again, I've forgotten. I actually have to... Damn. <laughs> Down to ten glass arrows. Yeah, I don't need to waste. I mean, I was at like a hundred. I was about. Hmm. I was at about a hundred and twenty, ebony's, but I think I was at like when I just checked, I was around seventy-ish ebony. So just wanted to drop. And I yes, I am well aware that there are fletching mods. for Skyrim to make your own arrows. I just haven't bothered to grab any yet. Yeah, yeah, Shady. Good luck. Good luck on catching up. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's kind of a good position to be in. If you enjoy the videos, it's kind of nice to be way behind. Because you have so much stuff to catch up on. I love finding an LP -er that I like. Or a video, or a, a specific LP that I like to watch, and seeing there's a ton of uh, pieces to it, because that means I have tons of stuff to watch. I love when they all drop down, all fierce and scary, and then I one shot them. I love the sound of uh, waterfalls and all that. Ah, 
Ah, that sound of beautiful water falling on the horrific spider. Oh, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in on the spider bodies and their venom encrusted fangs as the people who have severe arachnophobia are like ah, ah, oh my god let's play with the spiders let's do that let's do that well let's play with the spiders let's do that let's play with their legs oh look how oh look how creepy the awesome their legs are i don't see people who don't like spiders see those eight legs those eight legs just give you four times the amount of hugs that's my opinion they're so cute Look how cute those spiders are. Oh my god. It's like, oh. He just wants to inject love straight into you. Look at that. Oh. So cute. God. Just want to just want to wrap you up in emotion. Also webbing. Spiders are awesome. You know why I like spiders? Because spiders kill bugs that I hate way more than spiders. That's why I like spiders. Damn it. Go, go, Iron Maze. Okay, I believe we're leaving the spider area of the dungeon now. Man, I <laughs> if I don't know if any of you guys watch uh, video game Carnage, man, it's so funny like to see somebody like him who is like your typical relatively typical macho-ish man like always talking about you know yeah you know slapping that girl's ass blah 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 look at that girl's titties yeah yeah blah blah man blah man yeah titties yeah but like he is a total puss when it comes to spiders it's hilarious like when he played because there's a in the intro part there becomes the part where you cannot pass the spiders and he completely freaks out. Like, he's literally, literally screaming like a girl. Like, the part... I, I, I passed that part in probably five minutes. It takes him, twenty, like, 15 to 20 minutes to get through it. Because he is so terrified of spiders. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> Boom! Suck it. Where are you at? Ah, terrible. Wow, that was even more terrible. That was slightly less terrible. Uh, if you're gonna get knocked off the bridge and fall in the water, please drop all your loot on the bridge where I can get it before you fall off where I can't get to you. That would be very... That would be the non-rude thing to do. Oh, hey. What's over here? No, I don't kill spiders in my house. If I see a spider web or whatever, I totally... I mean, unless it's in, I mean, a bad spot. Like, I'm not going to just... Oh, I need a pickaxe? Okay. How convenient that there's one there.
Bunch of spider haters. They just want to love you. Secret? No. This is a pretty big dungeon. Put out of glass arrows. Well, yes, if somebody's allergic to spiders, I would assume they would be allergic to the venom. Oh! Hey, I wasn't hit. That wasn't fair. Look at this. I'm even using four sworn arrows. Bam. Ooh, ebony sword. I am too heavy. Actually, you know what? Shop that stupid pickaxe. How about that? Of course, I got about a million other things I could probably drop. I came up over the top, and I'm like, why can that guy see me? Oh, right. I'm not hidden at all. I mean, I'm still doing good on arrows. I've got 89. Damn it. Wait. Yeah, those dragon bones, uh, not helping. There we go. Drop some worthless crap. Get that out of here. Yeah, you'd think I'd be getting close to the end. That overlord dude was sitting in this throne. So, I would think... Oh, and there's a mysterious door. And I'm at Vogskyg Peak. Chocolate milk. Hear me some uh, dragon panel thing. Huh. Huh. Hump the word. 
Oh, hey. Sup, bitch. If your magic shield, Honky. I'll be taking that mask. Ooh, breathe of the water, hell yeah. I didn't even see what <laughs> what magic word I got. I just heard him being a butthole behind me. Ah, Whirlwind Sprint, the newest. Rushes forward, carrying you in, in its wake with the speed of a tempest. Okay. Okay. What? What? what All right. He's like kind of an ash pile, kind of armor. It's over here. Not a lot. All right, so it's still Sundas. Sundas, ja. So what I really need to do. Is head to Yield House and sell Yield crap. Oh, he's in Riften. I apparently know this. How convenient that he's in Riften. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try it out. Fus Rovda. Oops. Don't you worry your pretty head about it. I need you to shut up. Yeah. Just like we straightened it out the 20 other times we've talked about it. Hmm, we can't have any witnesses. an incriminating letter. I agreed your conditions. When the Emperor arrives, I will pass along his schedule and arrange for all doors to be unlocked and any posted security to be conveniently absent for a small period of time. Nothing will stand between your men and his eminence. He will die by Stormcloak hands. And neither my father nor your great leader, Ulfric, will even know anything is amiss until it's too late. Leave the first payment in gold at his dead drop. I look forward to continuing our relationship. A uh, store. Oops. Oop. You saw too much. Uh, no, this would be my best. Sweet. Uh, 
I'm going to uh, need that shield actually, so yeah. In those arrows. Oh. Ah. Nope. What mate? All right. Uh, uh first of all, let's find something heavy to drop. Let's see, wait a minute. And go sell. Wound? Now test. <laughs> Come on. You can make it to the smithy. Excuse me. Oh damn it! I think the smithy's gone. Get out of the way. Yes, I hope this works. Hey, what's up? Greetings, honored friend. Could I see for yourself? Buy some of my heavy crap. <laughs> 